the drama on Mari. No one can hide from the results. This is a first for the Mari show. Four women, one man, six kids. These four women claim that one man is the father of all six of their children. And one more woman is here, his current fiance. This man's name is Smitty, and he's here because he wants DNA proof. Four women and six kids. You are the is one man the father? Smitty, 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 Smitty. <laughs> It might have been the most unexpected result of the year. Not. <laughs> Today, Callie's back to test a second man. Will her search end today? Oh, I know I'm right. Scotty. And more paternity pandemonium you have to see to believe. <laughs> Patricia admits she's not sure if the father of her baby is Anthony or Anthony's younger brother. I can't believe she slept with my brother. What I did was the biggest mistake in my life. I would never do anything like that again. Two DNA tests, two brothers. Who's the father? Anthony, Devin. Shocking, scandalous DNA results next. Everyone, this is Tanya. Welcome Tanya to the show. Everyone, this is Keisha. Welcome Keisha to the show. Everyone, this is Nitro. Welcome Nitro to the show. Everyone, this is Rain. Welcome Rain to the show. And with all of that, in all the years, this is a first for the Mari show. Four women traveling a long way to confront one man as the father of their six kids. And that one man is Smitty. They are positive that Smitty is the father of all six of their kids. Not only that, they think Smitty has 30 kids out there. Yeah. These four women, Tanya, Keisha, Nitra, and Rain, believe that their six children belong to this one man named Smitty. My name is Tanya, and my son Juan is only six months old, but already Smitty hasn't stepped up to be the father that he should be. My name is Keisha, and I'm tired of Smitty being a part-time dad to my two beautiful daughters. Smitty, I know you think this is a joke, but when it comes all about my children, you're going to be a father today. My name is Nitra, and I know that Smitty is the father of my sons, Elijah and Jabril. I'm tired of Smitty telling people out here in the street that these kids is not his. My name's Ryan, and Smitty know damn well he's my son Farrakhan's father. Smitty's acting like a damn child when he should be taking care of my son. These women have bonded together with one goal in mind, to prove to Smitty that he is the father of all six children. Today, these results are going to prove one thing. Smitty, you, you are, are the father. father. not the whole story because we want to mention that Smitty is about to be married in one month to it's this real. woman named Dakota. Tanya, do you think that all these kids are his? For sure, we you're know. Sure? Yes, all these kids are his. Okay, now, now your your son's name Juan, right? Yes. You, this is the youngest of the children up here today to be mm -hmm. tested, right? And, and how's he treat Juan? He's not even there like he said he would be there for my son. He just he's be like, I so you think he's sure. just you, you think he's just playing with this? He think it's a game about. I don't, it's a I game. Don't understand Smitty there are like, no games when it comes right. to this. This is serious <laughs> stuff. Keisha, you have Inshira and you have Destiny. Yes. Two little girls, right? Yes. Okay. Is he the father of those girls? He know it. He knows it. I want to go to Nietzsche. There's a special circumstance here with Nietzsche. She has two kids, two boys, Elijah and Jabril. Now, this is what Nietzsche does. See, of all these six kids, 
Nitra picks them up. Nitra takes them all together. Nitra is a good play mother together. for us today. If he don't do it, who else gonna do it? I want my kids to know who their brothers and sisters is. You know what I'm saying? Great. How positive are you? I'm 100% sure that Smitty's my son, father. Really? <laughs> Dakota, you know the history of Smitty and these women. Why are you with him? I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I'm a trans Why are you man. With him? Because that's my man. I'm, I'm going to be with man. him. We getting married. If he was everybody man, if he was everybody man, if he was everybody man, everybody would have a Guess what, everybody? Man. If he was everybody he man, he would be there with you I'm, and y'all kids. You what? Wouldn't he be there with you and y'all kids? Well, guess what? We got to hear from Smitty. This is what he had to say. These four women is good liars. I got no reason to trust neither one of them. Starting with Tanya Baby Juan, I left for a month, then she popped back up talking about she was pregnant by me. I really don't even think the baby looked like me. Keisha never even told me she was pregnant with Destiny. I don't doubt that Shira as much, but I know Keisha is a real good liar. As for Nitra two boys, it would really surprise me if Jabril turned out to be mine. And for as Elijah, for him to be my son, Nitra telling me I can't even sing. And finally, Rain's son Farrakhan, she never told me she was pregnant. She only told me she had a tumor in her stomach. I'm taking my life in a different direction right now. I'm getting married to my beautiful fiance Dakota next month. And we just really trying to put all this behind us. If I ain't the father, good luck in finding your baby daddy. Everyone, the man of the hour, Smitty. Talk to me, man. How many kids do you think you have? So I think I got more, probably yeah. five. Five. Yes. I know y'all liars. Man, I only see why y'all, you know what I mean, going Lying through this. Lying. Oh, y'all like Keisha, Nietzsche, Lorraine, y'all liars. That's all the y'all know. Why did I tell you I had a tumor in my stomach? Why? Did you say there was no possible way? Why don't you? Y'all you calling me. Y'all sick of you calling me. All right. And then, and you lied. And you did you lie. You lied. You lied. Keisha. I said you had a tumor in my stomach. Keisha, so Keisha, what? Keisha. And I still don't ask you to take care of my son. Can you calm down? Can I talk, please? Straight up. Can I Straight talk? Up. I don't ask you to look. Let her talk. Did you tell me you were pregnant? I did you didn't tell your, know. You ain't tell nobody you was pregnant. I did not know. You five months it pregnant, did, you don't know. I didn't know Tyler. You five months pregnant, you ain't know. Who is five months pregnant? Who is five My first daughter. One Five time. months later, one, she pregnant. She told me she pregnant. Every day. That would worry any man out here. Any man out. That would worry any man out here. Tell you, tell, let the truth be told. Okay. After I stopped talking to you, you call me back. How much you need to talk to me about something? You already know what it was. Though. You already know. I'm tell you. Tell you. Listen, 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 listen. But Smitty, okay. Now keep it real. So you don't. So you believe that he ain't your son? Now keep it real. You know what you I was pregnant. I though, never knew nothing. We sitting, we sitting right here talking. Okay. Tell no. You. Okay. Don't get on. Come don't on, get on man. TV Tell in front you. because when we at home and stuff, what do you say, Smitty? I don't Come be at your now. house with you. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know I don't know what you're talking about. Don't be 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 talking about. Don't are you serious? Yes, over where? Are what is he serious? talking about? He just lied. Hey, what is he talking about? Well, we got the results. So we're yeah. going to Four women and six kids. Is one man the father? Smitty, 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 Smitty. Stay tuned. The results are coming up. Brandon did the unthinkable. He looked my daughter straight in her face and said, you are not my daughter. She's so mad she won't even look at him. But is he the father? Brandon? Shocking, scandalous DNA results next. 
Everyone, this is Devin. Welcome, Devin, to the show. Now, count them for 10 years. Devin has loved a man named Brandon. So much so that she's put up with his battle with alcohol, his trouble with the law. But recently, something happened that even Devin could not tolerate. You see, Devin says that Brandon coldly looked her four-year-old daughter, Kaylee, in the face. And Brandon told this little girl, I'm not your father. <laughs> then, as soon as she heard that, Devin ended the 10-year relationship. <laughs> and she vowed to get a DNA test to prove that Brandon is Kaylee's father. Watch. Brandon is all I know, and I love him to death. I've given him my heart, and now it's broken. Then what hurts the most is he denies our daughter. He looked my daughter straight in her face and said, you are not my daughter. My little girl cried for hours. How could he do that? If it wasn't for my mom, I don't know where me and Kaylee would be at. My father is supporting me and Kaylee when he should have been doing it. He needs to be her father. And what did he do? Did he look at her in the eye? He, he just, he was sitting in a chair and she was standing like right in front of him. And what did... And he said, you need to go find your dad down deep in Kentucky. <laughs> What'd your daughter do? She started crying. She cried for three hours. The whole way back to my house, she cried. Why don't my daddy love me? Why don't my daddy want me, mommy? What am I supposed to tell her? Now, your mother, you know, your mother has kind of been the father figure for her. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Donna, is there a possibility that he's not the father? Hell no. Yeah. He's the younger, not the father. This is what Brandon had to say. Watch this. Devin and Donna are a bunch of liars. I've heard from so many people that Devin's been cheating on me through this whole relationship. I don't think Kaylee's mine because she don't have my eyes, hair, or skin color. I believe the guy that Devin has been sneaking in and out of the house is the real father of Kaylee. He even has the same birthmark that Kaylee does. I cannot stand Devin's mother, Donna. She's the reason I don't go around Devin or Kaylee. All this woman does is cause trouble. I told Devin and Donna I would not sign Kaylee's birth certificate, so they forged my signature on it. Those two are nothing but a headache. I know that I'll be so much better off when this test proves that I'm not the father of Kaylee. Here's Brandon, everybody. Welcome, Brandon. Look at him. You don't want to look at him. You loved him for 10 years. Mm -hmm. You told me you've loved him for 10 He's years. He's my heart. That, that is my heart. And but you I got can't your back. do it no more because he broke it. I can't. Brandon, you love her? Yeah, I love her. You do love her? I love her. I can't stand her mom. Her mom's always in our business. Sit down, Brandon. Now you act like you're shut better than me. I you am. You shut ain't. Up. No, you're not. Oh yes. You need to shut up. You need to shut up. You need to shut up. You need to back her up off. You need to back up. You need to shut up. You just went. You were just with me not too long ago. No, I was. You should shut up. Come on. You go to your mom all the time. You've been visiting me the whole time. Brandon. Brandon. Come on, man. Why aren't you the father of that pretty little girl? Yeah. Why? She looks like the other guy that she was with before she. Brandon, why would you...
Why would you say that to that little girl? Do you see what she I She tells me the same night we're arguing. That ain't your kid. Her mom told me on the phone when it I had my kid. It's your baby. It's my baby. Okay. Okay. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. You don't want to tell your baby. You don't want to tell your baby. You're not. You can't even get up out of bed to go look for a job. You stay up all night, can't even get up in the morning to look for a job. Do you got a job? Do you got a job? The problem is, she's got you and you. You are the problem is, kids, because you ain't got. If you prove to be the father, which he is, I want you to make me one promise. Yeah. You yeah. go and apologize to that little girl. Yeah. I will. When it comes to four-year-old Kaylee, Brandon, you are the father. I want you to grow up. No. I want you to grow up. I'm and growing be up. A man. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, so, I'm sober now. I I'm want so, you to grow I'm up. I'm trying, Devin. I I'm want trying. you to help I'm trying, me. Devin. I can't get along with your family. Your family denies they me. They have nothing it's to do about me. It's always in our it's business. It's about me. It's nothing to do with it. She has nothing She's to do with it. She's always in our business. It's me and you and her. Always in our business. So. It's time to grow up. I've been dating you and your mom. It's not my baby. Josh says he's not the father of her baby. Josh's girlfriend says he's not the father of her baby. It's not none of his baby. Yes, it is. Why are you even here? But what will the DNA say? Josh. <laughs> Four women and six kids. Is one man the father? Stay tuned. The results are coming up. Shocking, scandalous DNA results next. Everyone, this is Alethea. Welcome Alethea to the show. Now, for the past four years, Alethea's rage has been directed at her ex-boyfriend, Josh, who she says completely denies her four and a half year old son, Josh Jordan. You see, Alethea says when her son was six weeks old, she called Josh to ask him to get some baby milk for him. She hung up the phone and then didn't hear from him for seven months. <laughs> then what Alethea says is shocking is that she claims that Josh has started to call Josh Jr. Hurtful names like Crybaby, Outcast, and what else does he call him? He calls my son. That idiot, that idiot calls my son a three year old little boy. What type of man calls a three year old child? I'm oh, sorry, Murray. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. I, I got it. Do you see this? Yeah. Do you see this? This is Josh's girlfriend. I'm his new boo. You can tell him he's nothing to me. He's nothing. What you say? Nothing. What you say? Nothing. You can tell him that's what I said. He's more than something. He take care of me and mine, bro. That's good for you. It's your cow and your own. Your kid, daddy. Let's hear about history here, okay, Alethea? <laughs> what happened when you told Josh that you were pregnant? He was excited. Was he there at the hospital? Yes, he was at the hospital. He named my son. Oh, he named your boy son. Cried when he was born. Then he wrote you a letter, didn't he? Oh my goodness! This man wrote me a letter talking about how my son was from his other kids. What they picked on my son? He like he's an outcast. He's like a crybaby. Like what happened two weeks ago? Oh my God, he came over to my house to see my son running around the house playing. Oh, daddy gonna do this, daddy gonna do that. Daddy never showed back up again after he promised my son he would. And my son sat on the couch crying. This is what Josh son. had to say. You Why? not mine. You can move. Alethea and I was never ever in a relationship. 
We only slept together two times, so I don't know how this baby could possibly be mine. I didn't even know Alethea was having a baby until she was seven months pregnant. When I asked Alethea why she didn't tell me she was pregnant, she admitted that it could be between me and another guy. Alethea is trying to break up the relationship with me and my girlfriend, Akina. We both know that this baby is not Josh's. Alethea's son is a crybaby and an outcast. None of my kids want anything to do with him. Even they know he's not mine. Here he is, Josh. Welcome, Josh, everybody. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. I want you, Joshua. I want you. I want you. Yeah. 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 I yeah. know about yeah. how you feel. Yeah. I don't yeah. want you to You don't supposed to know about it. You Mom, are a stone. You miss me, right? I don't want you. You miss me, right? Yeah, in like another country. In like another country. Yeah. yeah. In another wow. country. Even she told me, Maury. When, when, listen, Maury, when I, I came to her when she was I seven did. months pregnant, I came to her, I said, Alethea, why you didn't tell me that you was pregnant? She said, because it's between you and another guy. God, and I wanted to wait till the baby's out here. Lie. She and told you me your she wanted to wait till the baby's out here. She you told me she wanted to wait till the baby's out Josh, I can understand your doubts and everything else. But why would you call a little child like a crybaby? Because every why time, you listen, a hold child? on. Every why time, would you cry a listen, child? Maury, when I would come to get her, I mean, get hey, him girl. and take him to interact so with my other kids, girl, he would cry, he would whine. I, if I raise my voice, set him, he sit down in the corner and cry. You. And all that. Because you. of you. Because you. of you. Because of you. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. You did your fault. I did. I did. I did. I did. If this is your child, you're going to take care of this child. Yeah. Yeah. Nakina. Is that baby his? This chick no. knows this is not none of her baby. Put your hands up. I'm the kid. I'm the kid. Don't worry who about who I am. I I'm not about to defend it before you don't need to know about me. You need to know who your baby daddy is. That's what you need to know. Can we get the results? 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 All right. When it comes to four and a half year old Joshua Jr., Josh, you are not. <laughs> You're going to get a father in your child's life? He got one. Good. Glad. Thank he you got very one. much. Thank okay. you, Murray. Thank you. It might have been the most unexpected result of the year. It's not. <laughs> Today, Callie's back to test a second man. Will her search end today? Oh, I know I'm right. Scotty. Four women and six kids. Is one man the father? Stay tuned. The results are coming up. Shocking, scandalous DNA results next. Everyone, this is Callie. Welcome, Callie, back to the show. Three months ago, three months ago, Callie was here, received the shocking news that a man named John was not the father of her one-year-old son, Jordan. So today, Callie is back, and she says this time she is positive that this man, Scotty, is the father of her son. Take a look at this.
The last time I was on the show, I made a huge mistake. I was positive that John was the father of my one-year-old son, Jordan. Look at that kid, dude. Big ass ears and everything else. Come on, man. Hey, none of my family got blue eyes. I was shocked by the results. John, you are not. <laughs> I'm more determined than ever because I finally know the truth. Scotty is the only possibility that could be my baby's father. I didn't sleep with anyone else no matter what he says. He thinks I slept with his family members and everyone in the city. But I didn't and the paternity test will show him the truth. What? You're positive this time around, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Why didn't you try to test him the first time? He was nowhere to be found. Oh, I contacted could... his family, oh, you... Oh, you everybody. Couldn't, find him. couldn't nobody find him. <laughs> nobody. Was there a time you all lived together? You yeah, and I lived with him three days after he met me. He asked me to move in with him, told me he wanted me to have his baby. Yeah. This is what he had to say, okay? Watch. I'm the second guy that Callie's brought on this show to test for her son, Jordan. And I can guarantee you that I won't be the last. Khaled was not a one-night stand. She was more like a five-night stand. And we was never in a relationship. Jordan's birthday is on Christmas Day. And I slept with Callie in January. So when does it take 12 months to make a baby? She knows that I take care of my two kids. So I think that's the reason that she's trying to get me to take care of her kid. I'm tired of Callie blaming me for being the father of her baby. And when we find out that I'm not, I'm going to tell the world what a slut she is. Everybody, welcome Scotty. Here's Scotty. Yeah, you're saying that now. Wait till the test yeah. come out, buddy. Yeah, wait till the test come out. What was he doing in front of my little boys when he came? You got five or six dudes. You got six guys, man. Scotty, let's get this straight. You know her for a little while. I thought I knew her. I thought I knew her. Right. What? When me and her was messing around, I thought she was an no, okay girl. Whatever. I come home from whatever. work one day. She done made up some little reason in her head to tried leave. Tried as hard as you could to get my attention. Listen, Wanted man. To holler it's, at you don't talk. It's my Wanted turn to, to talk. Holler. You, you don't, don't talk. Yeah. Talk. It's my turn you to don't talk. You deserve to talk. Within you about two let weeks, me leave. she done slept with six different guys. Okay. Six. Okay. Okay. Six. She I had sex sure with one of my buddies sure in front of the whole hotel room. Sure wasn't. Yeah. And, sure wasn't. and she said, and she said that she didn't have no, she didn't have no way to get a hold of me. I seen her two times at the store while she was pregnant and asked her. Uh, she no, said, no, I there's no way it could be you your at kid. The store and you got on the phone running she your told mouth me there was no way that mama, kid could buddy. be mine. Does that kid look anything like? When you me? were a kid, were you no. blind? Anything. No. <clears throat> okay. Because he looks like if my he's mine, family. If he's my mine, family. If the kid and was mine, I'd take care of him. You would take care of him. Does not mean he's she not know, yours. And, and listen, Marvie, she knows that. I take care of two kids. One of them's not biologically mine, but I named her, and I've been her daddy, and she knows that. That's why she's trying to get me there. Well, then we're going to find out, right? <laughs> so we'll find out right now. Callie, what I've been waiting for. and I'm sure you're hoping that your your search is over. All right. Oh, I know I'm right. If I'm his daddy, he'll have a good father. He will have a good. But you father. don't think you're the father. He better. He better. In the case of one-year-old Jordan, Scotty, you are the father. I told you. Okay, have your search is over. But allow him to be a father. Oh, I right? will. But she Thank told me I, there was no possibility right. I was a father in the well, beginning. No, I didn't. Patricia admits she's not sure if the father of her baby is Anthony or Anthony's younger brother. I can't believe she went behind my back and slept with my brother. What I did was the biggest mistake in my life. I love my brother too much. But I would never do anything like that again. Two DNA tests, two brothers. Who's the father? Anthony, Devin. <laughs> Shocking, scandalous DNA results next.
Everyone, this is Patricia. Welcome, Patricia, to the show. Now, Patricia is here to determine if this man, Anthony, or his younger brother, Devin, oh! is the father of his son, Nathan. Oh! Now, when Patricia was with Anthony, then Anthony moved to another state for work because he wanted to provide for a better life for his family. When, and while he was gone, he asked his brother, Devin, to move into his home and help Patricia in any way she needed. <laughs> what happened was they got together. Watch this. I made a mistake. I slept with Anthony's brother, and in that time, I got pregnant. And now I'm not sure which brother is the father of my son, Nathan. When I think of the fact of not knowing who his father is, it really hurts. And now Anthony is denying my oldest son, Caden. I was with Anthony for a couple of years, and we had Caden together. He decided he wanted to move for a job, and he wanted his brother to move in with me to help raise our child. I loved Anthony, but I fell in love with his brother, Devin. I feel terrible about what I did, but for my children's sake, I have to find out. Who do you think he looks like? That's Anthony on the left, Devin on the right. In my heart, I think he's Devin's. But to be honest, for my children's sake, you want it to be. I Anthony. want him to be Anthony, as I already have a child with Anthony. Right. I don't want them to go through. Oh, he's my brother, but yet he's my cousin. This is my uncle, but my brother. That's his dad. I'm, I'm really confused about that. I don't even want to go into that. I, I, I can't figure it out. Anthony is now even doubting that he is Caden's father, right? Uh -huh. And you're upset about that. Two years later, because I was honest with him. So because now he's told him about him. Devin, yep. now he's questioning the other child. Yep. First, this is what Anthony had to say. I left Patricia and my son to start a better life, and this is how she repaid me. I can't believe she went behind my back and slept with my brother. I couldn't have been betrayed worse by any two people in my life. I can't even be sure if my firstborn is mine because of what she's put me through. If they are my kids, then I will definitely do make a better effort to be a good father. They deserve love, and if I'm the father, you know, it's my duty to give them that. Everybody, here's Anthony. You don't want to be near her? No. Why not? <laughs> really distance my emotions from her, and the most distance I can get is the best. Really? But your son deserves that? <laughs> but your son deserves that? Does he? Those boys. He's two years old. And not only that, but he's autistic. You don't know how it is. You're not ever there. You don't raise him. You don't take care of him. You don't do anything for him. You but you left me. You never expected this to happen with Devin? No. He's the closest person to me in the whole world. When was the first time you realized your brother and Patricia were together? I, she told me two weeks after she left me. I mean, I lost, I got laid off from my job. Then two days later, it was like my birthday. And then <laughs> she left me two days after. I told you on your birthday? No, you, no, you told me about told two you. weeks after you left. Why don't you think you're the father of uh, Nathan? Well, Devin was having sex with Trisha the whole time that uh, I was in Texas. <laughs> what? I sent them money. Why don't, why don't you think you're the father of Caden? I don't know if I'm the father, because I don't know what she's capable of. I mean, she's going to do this behind my back. <laughs> okay. Here's the other brother, Devin. Devin, come on out. Why don't you sit over here? Devin, she says she loves you. She says she loves you. You love her? No, not at no? all. No? You don't love her? Uh, uh, what I did was the biggest mistake in my life. I love my brother too much. He's the most important person to me in my life. I would never do anything like that again. How do you think this happened? My first intention was going to watch my nephew and help my brother out, and it ended up being one night 
she told me she's like, you know, you can come and sleep in uh, the room. There's nothing a room. There's nothing weird about it. Oh. <laughs> You know these two kids could be either cousins or brothers. You know that. Yeah. Well, let's find out right now. <laughs> We're gonna talk about Caden first, the two-year-old. When it comes to two-year-old Caden, Anthony, you are the father. <laughs> when it comes to seven-month-old Nathan, she has a baby with Anthony. But does she also have a baby with his younger brother? Anthony, Devin. Four women and six kids. Is one man the father? Stay tuned. The results are coming up. Shocking, scandalous DNA results next. I made a mistake. I slept with Anthony's brother, and in that time, I got pregnant. And now I'm not sure which brother is the father of my son, Nathan. I love Dan, but I fell in love with his brother, Devin. I feel terrible about what I did. But for my children's sake, I have to find out. I left Patricia and my son to start a better life, and this is how she repaid me. I can't believe she went behind my back and slept with my brother. I couldn't have been betrayed worse by any two people in my life. You don't want to be near her? No. Why not? <laughs> I just really distance my emotions from her, and the most distance I can get is the best. Here's the other brother, Devin. Uh, what I did was the biggest mistake in my life. I love my brother too much. <laughs> I would never do anything like that again. You know these two kids could be either cousins or brothers. You know that. When it comes to seven-month-old Nathan, Devin, you are not the father. <laughs> When it comes to seven-month-old Nathan Anthony, you are the father. <laughs> Anthony, you have a chance to turn it all around about being a dad here. Oh, all right? And hopefully this experience, this experience will allow you to be the father of both of those children. Definitely. Okay? Those are children, those are not kids, yes. right? We'll be back right after this. Four women and six kids. Is one man the father? Smitty, 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 Smitty. Don't go away, the DNA results are next. Shocking, scandalous DNA results next. My name is Tanya, and my son Juan is only six months old, but already Smitty hasn't stepped up to be the father that he should be. My name is Keisha, and I'm tired of Smitty being a part-time dad to my two beautiful daughters. My name is Nitra, and I know that Smitty is the father of my sons, Elijah and Jabril. My name's Ryan, and Smitty know damn well he's my son Farrakhan's father. Today, these results are going to prove one thing. Smitty, you, you are, are the father. father. These four women is good liars. I got no reason to trust neither one of them. I'm getting married to my beautiful fiance, Dakota, next month. And we just really trying to put all this behind us. If I ain't the father, good luck in finding your baby daddy. We're gonna start with you, Tanya. When it comes to six month old Juan, Smitty, you are the father. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Comes to two-year-old <laughs> Destiny. Smitty, you are the father. <laughs> when it comes to three-year-old Inshira, Smitty, you are the father. <laughs> now with Nitra, when it comes to five-year-old Jabril, Smitty, you are the father. <laughs> when it comes to comes to six-year-old Elijah Smitty, you are the father. And finally, Rain, when it comes to Farrakhan Smitty, you are the father. Now he know, and y'all
y'all better get together because they gonna be around. Y'all better, he gonna be around. They gonna be around. He gonna be around. Y'all better get together because they gonna be around. They gonna be around. They gonna be around. No tests off limits, and the results are in. Mari. This hour, Mari has more men and more babies DNA tested than any show of the year. Two families divided by one baby. My son Tavares is not the father of Rachel's daughter. Like you Rachel, were uh, asking baby what the uh, hell? He got bought over for a blunt and some coffee. Oh, 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 she looked like every black man in Oregon. You're a sick yeah. woman. And what's Four family members at war, one shocking DNA result. Tavares. <laughs> Timothy totally denies Melissa's baby boy, but the resemblance is eerie. He don't look like me at all. He looks just like me. Is he the father? Timothy. <laughs> this teen got pregnant at 15 years old. I don't have no help at all. And she's here to prove that this 19 year old is the father. Will this team find the father today? <laughs> Kenny knows his fiance cheated. <laughs> Kenny doesn't know if his fiance's daughter is his. He's in a lot of pain, isn't he? And it's all my fault. The DNA test holds the key to their future. Kenny, plus two paternity secrets. Samira and I, it might not be yours. <laughs> Will these two kids lose the only father they've ever known? <laughs> when I open the envelope, who will hear you are the father? This is Chantel. Now, sitting next to Chantel is her 19-year-old son, Tavares. Now, Chantel and Tavares say that there is a woman, Rachel, and her mother, Kelly, and they are trying to pin a baby on her son, Ooh. Tavares. See, Chantel. Chantel and Tavares believe that Rachel and Kelly are nothing but gold diggers. Uh -oh. They thirsty. They thirsty. They now, thirsty. Now they're use, uh, they apparently are using this one year old child, Kaya Lee, to squeeze money out of Chantel and Tavares' family because Chantel says her son has a promising future in the NBA. Chantel says she'll be damned if she lets Rachel and her mother Kelly that trap her son. Bones. I'm here today to prove to Rachel and her gold-digging mama Kelly that my son Tavares is not the father of Rachel's daughter. She didn't even tell me I can be the father until after she had the baby. She told us herself that somebody else could be our baby's father. When the baby was four months old, Rachel said she was positive that my son is the father. She ain't nothing but a fat ass liar. Rachel, baby, knows that I'm not her father. That's why every time me and my family hold her, she cries. Kelly is nothing but a fake, phony, trollopin' tramp. Wow. <laughs> Did you uh, feel this way from the get-go, from yes. day one? Yes, there was really no, no day no, one. No she just she popped up at my doorstep one day with a baby. No. Liar! Oh, yeah. I didn't like that. She didn't even let us know she was pregnant. Maury, I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off to the highest pissivity that these <laughs> It ain't looking good. Look at them. Look at them. Look, look. look at them. They thirsty. They drawn up. They thirsty. Look at her Hey, she came on look just to get mama. a DNA test for mama. herself. Hey, look at her. her mama. She's garbage. She's gutter oh, trash. Wow. Oh, Tavares, I got to get this straight, okay? Did you know that she was pregnant? I didn't even know she was pregnant, Maury. Look, I, I called her. I, I called her. I called her. I was like, hey, Rachel. I was like, Rachel. Uh, what the hell? Uh, your she was like, no, I'm not even sure. By him, probably pregnant by you. 
And I'm like, what? You're probably pregnant by me. I had to call her up and like, well, uh, I heard from a relative that you was pregnant Did by you your Did you go to the boyfriend. hospital? I told her I was going to go to the hospital, but she never called. That <laughs> the father. I don't even know who the father is. She just, she got bought over for a blunt and some coffee. I want to show you this Get baby. I want to show you Tavares. You tell me if you think they look alike. Black man in Oregon. Uh, you're a sick yeah. woman. And when she comes hey, up look, to boy, be your son, I don't see no. You don't think you all look alike in the eyes? No. Yes. Boris, you slept with her. Man, I was going for a minute, man. man. I was like, my brother called. He man. was like, he was like, man, it's a go go. So I go go, and I went. You uh, didn't go go. Everybody, go -go. Go -go. <laughs> <laughs> you think this is strictly about money? Maury, in the beginning, we was willing to accept her and her baby. But every time she came over, we she every needed something. Time. She oh, I need gas. You can't see the baby say. unless you give me money. You can't do this unless you give me money. You are a liar. You're 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 a he what happens if you are the father? If I'm the father, I'm a man up and take care of what I got to do. I don't want nothing to do with them. She thirsty. She eats too much. I don't like them. I don't like them. Sitting down. Don't You're sit the down. pimp. Sit down. What? Sit down. And gold digger, you ain't got, got no money. You ain't 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 got no money. I got a beautiful baby. I got a beautiful baby. Beautiful. You weren't sleeping with anybody else? No, I did not. She does. You invited us over to your house after the baby was born. You said she looked just like you. Oh my God. Oh, she looks just like Barbara. That's what you said. Why don't we just find out, Please. all right? Your chest say, if your chest says, she's beautiful. Damn, baby. Daddy, I still Look don't at want this, baby. Do well, what like about them. that child? What he about? can have dealings with that child. I got four kids. I'm gonna be a grandma regardless. You ain't a oh, good mother. mother. You can't even be a mom. You're a good mama, but you're not even a good mama. You're not even a good mama. Come on now, we wouldn't be on here if your daughter kept Kelly. When it comes, when it comes to one year old, Kaya Lee, Tavares, you are not. is somebody to get this child's life and exactly. be a father, okay? I so happy. Okay, all right. Kelly. I am happy. Fine.
Angela is living every single mother's worst nightmare. She's on the verge of being homeless. But is this man the father? Don't shake your head. You know I'm not lying. You know I'm not lying. Somebody, you know that you're lying. We're going to find out right now. Benjamin. Timothy totally denies Melissa's baby boy, but the resemblance is eerie. He don't look like me at all. He looks just like me. me. Is he the father? Timothy. Plus, two paternity secrets. Samara and I are mine. Will these two kids lose the only father they've ever known? This hour, Mari has more men and more babies DNA tested than any show of the year. My next guest, Angela, sits here an emotionally distraught woman because the man she once loved, Benjamin, walked out of her life. <laughs> and now is denying her four-month-old son, Benjamin Jr. <laughs> Angela struggles to take care of her baby. This baby was born premature. To make matters worse, she's on the verge of being homeless. Listen to this. Two months ago, when Benjamin turned his back on me and Benjamin Jr., I felt betrayed. I felt like somebody took a knife and stabbed me right in my heart and just started turning it and turning it. Benjamin begged me to have his baby. And when they found out that I was pregnant, he was so excited. He was actually talking about marriage. And now he's going to sit here and deny my son the day that I gave birth to my son was the scariest day of my life because my son almost died. I, I almost died. He was six weeks premature. My baby was three pounds when he was born. Benjamin was there. He was right by my side holding my hand. And now he has the audacity to deny my son. I... So after going through all of that, having your child almost not live mm -hmm. and your life threatened, mm -hmm. he walked out. I walked out. He just turned his back on me and my son and didn't even look back. Your son is named Benjamin Jr. Yeah, that was his idea. He he said he wasn't going to have it no other way. He said That's not that, what he says. No. He says, he says, he didn't want that child named. Oh, my gosh. Don't shake your head. You know I'm not lying. You know I'm not lying. You know I'm not lying. You said you're right. You're a liar. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong, man. You're wrong. No, you're a liar. 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 Maury, wrong. What happened when you called him the other day? My baby didn't have no diapers, Maury. I didn't have no money. I called him on the phone. I said, Ben, little Ben needs some diapers. He's like, okay, well, call his daddy and tell his daddy he needs some diapers. <laughs> Click, and hung up on me. Hung the phone up on me. And you're about to be homeless. Yes. He knows my situation. He knows what happened when we broke Could up. Could he help? Before he did he help? Yeah. He did help. He was my only source of income. He knows my baby is premature. I can't work right now. I have to put my whole focus onto I my see. baby. I he was you. my only source of income. And once he walked out, he turned his back. He didn't even he, look back. No money. Not no. look back. Nothing stop at all. Lying. Stop Nothing. Lying. Nothing. Lying. Well, man, stop this is man. Man. this is what Ben what has lying? to say. A different story. Why? My baby, my baby, no. Thank God for the Morris show. Let me tell you about this girl who telling lies to the world about a pimp like me? Girl, you must be crazy. I'm a G. Every girl would love to have a baby by me. Please, please help her find her baby's dad. Damn, if you did, I would be so glad. Stop calling my phone, riding by my home. She got more miles than airplane tires. My baby, my baby, no. Thank God for the Morris show. All right, here's the poet, Benjamin. Here he is. <laughs> No, that's not my baby. Why not? It's not my baby. Man. Look at the baby. Ben. Look. Did you want a child? No, I didn't want no kids ben, from her. Look at me, Ben. How can you sit no there and deny that? How can you sit there and deny him? Look at my baby, Why ben. would, why at would that be? Look at my baby. Ben. 
Why is that baby named Ben Jr. if you didn't want to? She's psycho. She's psycho, man. I don't know. She wants to stop me. She's stopping me. She wants to stop me. Man. You take care of my baby. Whatever. Not my baby. Tell, tell the. Do tell you the know baby that that baby, that baby? Do you know how much trouble that baby had being born? That's he was not my problem. He That's was not there. my problem. It's not your problem. Call his you daddy. Was there from day Call one. his daddy. You were there from day one. Ben, these people are these people are on the verge of being homeless. If that's your child, you're gonna take care of that baby, aren't you? If that's my child, yeah, more. But that I know that's your not child. my you child. You know huh? that's your child, man. You, you we got... was living together when that baby was conceived. Man, you, 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 you know that. Find out right now. In the case of four-month-old Benjamin Jr., Benjamin, you are the father. care of this baby, all right? Ability to take care of this child. I can't be a boy. Right. I don't know how to be a I'm father. Right. right now, That's you've right. got to take care That's of this right. child. I don't That's know how right. to be a boy. Hey, you can start by welcoming him into your life, yes, okay? All right? We'll go backstage. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do it. It was nice you didn't come home. It was nice that you stayed out late. I'm, I'm sorry, you know what I mean? And. I just wasn't ready for no no baby, but I'll be there for you and the baby, and I'll all do right. whatever it takes to take care of little Ben. Right. Daddy. Hey. Daddy. Hey. Daddy. Hey. Timothy totally denies Melissa's baby boy, but the resemblance is eerie. He don't look like me at all. He looks just like me. Is he the father? Timothy. This teen got pregnant at 15 years old. I don't have no help with my daughter at all. And she's here to prove that this 19-year-old is the father. Will this teen find the father today? <laughs> Plus, two paternity secrets. Samara so and I at my not be This hour, Mari has more men and more babies DNA tested than any show of the year. Everybody, welcome Melissa. Here's Melissa. There was a time in her life that Melissa loved and trusted a man named Timothy. In fact, in fact, for a year, Melissa says, they tried to have a baby. When the efforts failed to have a child, the relationship fell apart. Two months later, Melissa discovers she's pregnant. And she was hoping that Timothy would be part of her son's life. But today she is disappointed and furious because she says Timothy wants nothing to do with her or her nine-month-old son, Timothy Jr. You thought Timothy would be there, didn't you? He was there in the beginning. He was? He was there through the whole birth and all through the labor, he was there. He was there every step of the way. And then he didn't want nothing to do with them anymore. You just want him to care for I your... I want him to be there for his kid. For his child. Okay. Well, this is what Timothy had to say. Every relationship goes through problems, but you're never supposed to give up. Every time me and Melissa would fight, she would turn her back on me and date other guys. She's the one who gave up on her relationship, not me. Me and Melissa, we tried over a year to have a baby with no luck. I think it's suspicious a month after we broke up, she got pregnant. I gotta admit, this baby must have been made by magic. Not only were me and Melissa not intimate, but I had another girlfriend. Melissa, I know for a fact you're still in love with me. Newsflash, I don't feel the same way, so stop crying. Okay, here he is. 
Timothy, Timothy, come on out. He don't look like me. So, you was his daddy. He says so? your first and your last name, and you want nothing to do with him now? Timothy, is it right. because he doesn't look like you, or he don't look like me at all? We tried for a baby. whole year to have a baby. Whole year. Too much after we stop trying, she gets pregnant. Okay, he don't look like you because he looks like me. Beautiful. <laughs> You sure? For sure. I have another girlfriend. I don't want nothing to do with it. Go be for her. I just want you to be for your son. What about that child? If that's my child, I take care of it, just like I do my other kids. I don't believe well, it. Well, first Nari. of all, though, there's one thing before you get to that. You got to prove that it's his, yep. and here are the results. In the case of nine-month-old Timothy, Timothy, you are not the father. Uh, uh -huh. We'll be glad to help you find the father of Timothy. But it's not his child. His child. Guess what, Timothy? You're no longer in this story. <laughs> See you. You want to... Oh, You're not gonna apologize? No, I'm not sorry, gonna... I'm sorry. You got in it and you got you gave him your name. I'll change it. <laughs> Everybody welcome Treasure. Treasure's 18 years old. But, but here's the deal. At 14. She met a fellow classmate named Izzy. They were, clo they were close friends. They even, you know, they competed together in the band and dance competitions. Uh, they modeled. They did all these things. But at 15, Treasure got pregnant. And now her two-year-old named Messiah. You're crying. You're crying. Why are you crying? It hurts so bad. I'm 18 years old. I have two kids. I don't have no help with my daughter at all. Messiah knows Izzy is, is, is her father? She knows. She yells for him like, we only live like down the street from each other. She yells like, Dad. He looks at her and go in the house. Now, now, this is one of the strangest things I've ever heard somebody say in denying a child. Izzy says. That she got shot and killed. <laughs> That she was the victim of a drive-by and was shot. That's what he, that's what you heard that he told his friends, right? Yeah, and I mean, like, when I was walking down the street, I happened to see him. And, like, the people that he was with was looking at me and then looking at her. And I'm like, what are they looking at, you know? And then come to find out that was looking for the bullet hole. Because he told them that she was shot. Because he told them that she was shot just to be with another female, you know. That was a low blow for me. Well, this is what Izzy had to say. Watch. I can't believe a one night stand could cause so much drama in my life. Me and Treasure only slept together one time and we used protection. Not to mention the fact that she also told me that I wasn't the father of this baby herself. That baby could look like anyone if you ask me. I even know Treasure was messing around with my own family around the time she got pregnant. I'm trying to better myself. I'm going to college. I'm engaged. But all this drama right here is breaking me down. I can't believe it took for us to come all the way to the Morby show just to get some results. So Treasure, when this test come back and said, Izzy, you are not the father, I just want you to leave me alone and let me live my life. Why don't we want him next to you? You think they look alike? On this stage, the nose. Do y'all see that? And the forehead, the complexion, every damn step. Here's Izzy. Izzy, come on out.
of them, man. Does that little girl look like you? No. Did you ever think that there was a possibility that that was your child? At one point in time, yeah. But when you, you start... You're not going to show them your when tattooed you, when you start, out? Ain't nobody ass from you. Ain't nobody from you. Ain't nobody Let him talk. Go it ahead, is Izzy. It is. No, she could be hype all she wants. Fact it, of the matter is, yeah. like I said, when you sit there and tell somebody, oh, yeah, this is not your child, this that third. When you tell somebody, yeah, this is your guy, child, this that third. I looked at that little girl like it was my own. I still stepped up and was being a fuck for that little girl. Still being there for that little girl. But when you tell somebody that that's not your child, of course, I'm not going to Give me the one big is. reason why you don't think you're the father. Because we use protection. I we see. use protection. Thank you. Thank you. Well, guess exactly what? We're going to find out right, right now. now. In the case of two-year-old Messiah, Izzy, you are the father. into his face, you're not going to be a child's life. You proved your point. You, you proved your point. You proved your point. I'm not doing nothing. You're not going to do anything? Loser, 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 loser. Kenny knows his fiance cheated. Kenny doesn't know if his fiance's daughter is his. He's in a lot of pain, isn't he? And it's all my fault. The DNA test holds the key to their future. Kenny, she's about to tell her husband two secrets. Samira and I are mine. <laughs> this hour, Mari has more men and more babies DNA tested than any show of the year. This is Keisha. Just over a year ago, Keisha made the biggest mistake of her life. She cheated on her boyfriend, Kenny. She was consumed with guilt. She kept the uh, betrayal a secret. Until, of course, when she got pregnant. Then she came clean to Kenny. So he's known about it. So today they're engaged to be married, but they're desperate to find out if Kenny is the father of their now three-month-old daughter, Aaliyah. Because both Keisha and Kenny know the DNA results could change their future forever. Watch. My fiance, Kenny, is my world. I'm terrified that he might not be the father of my daughter, Aaliyah. I destroyed everything when I cheated on Kenny at the time I became pregnant. Broke his heart and I regret it more than anything. I do think that Aaliyah resembles Kenny. Kenny is an amazing father and he loves her more than anything. It's been so hard though because we've been constantly arguing. I don't know what I'd do without him. I fear that he'll leave me if the test proves that he's not the father. He's in a lot of pain, isn't he? Yes, he really is. And it's all my fault. And what's he like with Aaliyah? He's a great father to her. He loves her very much. He'd do anything in the world for her. Do you really think that if this comes out wrong, he might leave you? Yes, I fear that every might leave me. Did he say that? No, he's always told me we'd stay together, but I just feel like he'll leave me because she's not his. Well, last night we sat down with Kenny, and this is what he had to say. When I found out my fiance keeps us pregnant, it's supposed to be a happy, stable life. But Keisha told me that that's cheating on me. I'll just be heartbroken and she's not mine. It breaks my heart that I can't trust her because I love her so much. If I find out I'm not the father, I don't think I can marry her. Everybody, here's Kenny. Kenny, come on out. What's that little girl mean to you? Yeah, my life. I'd do anything for her. What was it like, Kenny, when she told you that she had done this? It just tore me up. Could you believe it? I didn't believe it at first. So we might as well see what the answer is. 
Okay. When it comes to <clears throat> three-month-old Aaliyah, Kenny, you are the father. Tell you all this, Kenny. The past is the past, and the future is now. So congratulations to you. She's about to tell her husband two secrets that will rock his world. So my man and I my not. Don't do that. This was my baby, and they might not be mine, Sophia. Will these two kids lose the only father they've ever known? This hour, Amari has more men and more babies DNA tested than any show of the year. Everybody. This is, this is Sophia, everybody. And obviously, Sophia's very, very upset. Because backstage in a secluded area is her husband, Kion. See, they've been married for six years. They have two beautiful children. And in fact, without, without Kion, Sophia says she has nothing in this world. And that's why she sits here filled with pain and guilt. Take a look at how Kion feels about hearing a secret from his wife. Because Sophia has to confess not one, but two secrets that she's been keeping from Kion. Once or twice a week, I come home from work, find my wife crying. I ask her what's going on. She don't want to tell me. I want to know. I need answers. I work hard to take care of my family. My two daughters, they changed my life for the better. You know, without them, I'll be nothing. But right now, I'm scared, because I know Sophia have a secret to tell me. And I just hope it don't end what we have. What's the first secret? My first secret is that I cheated on him throughout oh. my marriage. Oh with um, my first daughter and my second daughter. What? Yes, yeah, smart. Are you trying to tell me around the time where your first daughter was conceived, you were cheating? Yes. And around the time that your second daughter was conceived, conceived. you were cheating? Him. Yes. Y'all been married six years? For six years, I cheated on him. What kind of a dad is he? He's a very good dad. He's, he's there with them. The girls adore him. All right, well, he's gonna come out here. We don't know what his reaction's gonna be. Okay. Everybody, welcome Kion. Here's Kion. <laughs> Have, a seat. Have a seat. Kion, hey, you have a great family. Two beautiful Sophia daughters. Te Sophia tells me you're a terrific dad. You love your, your daughters. Are you surprised that she said that she had a secret? Very surprised. I mean, you all been together a long time. Seven years. Okay, Sophia. This is not one secret. This is two secrets. My first secret is... <laughs> I cheated on you. <laughs> What's the other part of the secret, the second? Samara so and I, it might not be yours. Yeah. Didn't give you a DNA test? You cheated on me. It was a mistake. That's not a mistake. It was a mistake. That don't just happen. <laughs> I love you. I don't want to lose you. Don't love you. Me. I wouldn't want to lose you. You all I have. <laughs> no. We'll be back after this. Don't touch me. I'm sorry. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. No, Mari, no. I'm sorry. You have to rewind that because I don't believe she just told me that. Please forgive me. 
Nah. You want to do the DNA test? We'll yeah. do the DNA test. I don't want you by me right now. Please. Please Sophia, forgive give him, me. Give him, Sophia, give him, give him some time, okay? Nah, dude. <laughs> Will these two kids lose the only father they've ever known? Stay tuned to find out. The answer is coming up. The rumors have completely torn their relationship apart. His friends told him that I've cheated on him, and that baby is not his. Will the DNA test bring this couple back together, or are the rumors true? Jeff. This hour, Mari has more men and more babies DNA tested than any show of the year. This is Catherine. Welcome, Catherine, please. <laughs> so six months ago, Catherine and her soulmate, Jeff, were engaged to be married. They were celebrating the birth of their now 11-month-old son, Evan. But now... Catherine's dreams of a happy future crashed and burned when she and Jeff broke up. And then Jeff starts to deny that he is Evan's father. Now, only the results of a DNA test can give this would-be family a second chance at happiness. Watch. I'm very desperate to prove to Jeff that Evan is his. My relationship is hanging by a thread. His friends told him that I've cheated on him three different times. People that are important to us are telling him that the baby is not his. His mom has been putting all these ideas in his head that Evan's not his. He's trying to break us up, and it's not fair. When Evan's sick, E.G. doesn't even want to come over to help. It's like he doesn't even care anymore. I need Jeff in my life, and Evan needs a father. You plan to have this baby? Yes, we did actually, um, and we were so excited when he. I first found out. And he would was... admit that, right? Yes. That you plan to have this baby. Yes. You were going to be a family. Yes. And then what went wrong? I think it's part of his mother, and it's part me. I mean, I, I did my wrong things, and but he's done his wrong things too. So, in other words, when I bring Jeff out here, I don't have to move this chair out of the way. No, you don't. You want to be next to him. Yeah. You want to hold his hand. Yeah. Aww. Here's Jeff. Jeff, come on out. Here he is. <laughs> Jeff, let's get some things straight. Were you all in love together? Yes, we were. We were very much in love. I thought I was spending the rest of my life with her. <laughs> what happened? Um, here's some rumors, see some text messages, and then... You have people give you pictures. It, it kind of, it changes a lot of things. It makes you think about some stuff. And then you second guess a lot of things. And it, you can change. If this is your child, will that maybe start the trust again? It'll, it'll change a lot. It would. It'll, it'll change a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's find out. Let's find out right now. When it comes to 11-month-old Evan, Jeff, you are the father. Yeah. Be back right after you. So my and I might not be here. <laughs> Will these two kids lose the only father they've ever known? The answer is next. This hour, Mari has more men and more babies DNA tested than any show of the year. Earlier, Sophia told her husband, Kion, two secrets that absolutely tore him apart. So Myra and I, it might not be you. I'm sorry. 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 I'
Like, why not be mine, Sophia? <laughs> Is he the father of his two children? Be sure to watch upcoming shows to find out the results of these incredibly important DNA tests. Until next time, America. Incredible drama on Mars. No more lies. That was a lie. No, not even. It ends right here with the blinding truth. Don't touch me! Get off of me! It's over! Why would you do this? I did to me? Rebecca thinks her fiance is having a sexual affair with her best friend. This is your best friend. Oh, she's a trap. She's known for it. She's known for it. Her best friend says it's not true. Yeah. This girl. But instead of taking a lie detector test, her fiance is about to reveal everything. Rebecca, I must confess. Oh my God! Get away from me! <laughs> They've been together since their teens, but will this love story end today with one lie detector test? The lie detector determined. Oh my God! <laughs> Linda swears she saw video of her fiancé having sex. He swears the man in the video wasn't him. He said it's not me! Until today. I admit to the video. And if that's what he's admitting to, you can't imagine what he's been hiding. The lie detector determined. Why are you doing this to me? Plus, this couple works together at a pancake restaurant. Tammy's the waitress, Brandon's the cook. But she fears he's giving customers free pancakes in exchange for sex. Free breakfast for booty. Could her suspicions possibly be true? The lie detector determined. <laughs> the lie detector results are unforgettable, and they're next. Everyone, this is Rebecca. Welcome, Rebecca, to the show. <laughs> See, there are two people in Rebecca's life she can always count on. Her best friend of 15 years, Tanya, and her fiancé, Robert. What Rebecca says she did not count on was Tanya's trying to steal her man. Oh! Rebecca suspects that Tanya and Robert are having an affair. In fact, Rebecca says she caught Tanya sneaking over to her home in the middle of the night with a, with a secret bag of sexy lingerie. Yeah. I was laying in the bed, like, on a Friday night. Me and Robert was laying in the bed. We were asleep. And I get a knock on the door at 2 o'clock in the morning. So I go over to the door, and do you know this tramp had the nerve to show up at my house with this red... Wait a minute. Maybe she just was coming over. No, 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 not with this. You don't stand in line with me with this. What you're saying is she thought you were out of town. She thought I was out of town. Mari, I never told her I wasn't oh. going. I never told her I wasn't going. So what are you doing in my house at 2 o'clock, right? You're talking about Tramp. This is your best friend. Oh, she's a Tramp. She's known for it. She's known for it. She's known for it. She I'm denies having anything to do with it. You're a tramp! Yeah! She denies it! That's a lie! That's a lie! I do not tramp his things, but I'm not a tramp on you! Are you trying to tell me you should never leave a female with your man? Heck no! Yeah, well, you should! You should! You should never leave a woman with your man! And you know that thing? One foot in the grave? Well, he got one foot in my house. If you come back today, then he cheating on me. Both of them was out my house. He didn't do anything. You ain't gonna put him out. You know what he did. He did you know what kind of man he is. All right, well, guess what? They have been given lie detector tests, both of they them. They better hope they pass. I'm gonna pass. I'm not worried about this it. Is
This is what, you ta your pass, this is what Tanya pass. had to say. I feel like I am stuck between Rebecca and Robert. Rebecca calls me crying. Robert calls me for advice. I thought we all were friends. I would never sleep with Robert. Rebecca is my sis. That's my girl. I wish she would just move on and find her somebody that loves her for her. I believe that Robert is cheating with any and every woman he can get, but it's not me. Robert and I flirt all the time. It's nothing personal. Rebecca, you're like my sister. I would never betray you by sleeping with the man that you love. I can't wait to meet her. Here's Tanya. Tanya, come on out. <laughs> You wouldn't do anything no, to your best Maury, friend. Maury, yeah. this girl is crazy. We flirt all the time. Why are you playing with her? In our face. Why are you playing with her? We've been flirting. Why are you playing with her? Never cheated on her with Robert. Man, well, you wouldn't do that. Maury, no. Nothing, nothing I more. love this girl. Girl, okay. please, why don't you show up my house with this thing? Why? Who does that, you guys? Who does that? Oh. Who does that? Me? Who Me? does that? Me? So, what you told my producers, I think, is that Robert might be messing around. Yeah. Would you? Never. Okay, we're going to get to the lie detector test because we're going to have all the pass. results, okay? Oh, you, but first, you gotta hope you pass. You everybody, are, here's Robert. Robert, come on up. <laughs> Yes, I do. And, and there was a shocking turn of events, you see. Robert had a change of heart. He wanted to come clean today, so he has put his secrets down on video. This, this is his first secret. Rebecca, I've been living a secret double life. I done slept with over four women, and I had sex over 200 times. Wait a second. Two years, what? Are you serious? Rebecca, there's more. Here's the second secret he wanted to tell you. My second oh. secret is, I believe that I have another woman pregnant. Oh, my God. How could you do this to me? Rebecca, sit down. Oh, my God. Because guess what? There's, oh. a, there's a third secret. I guess these two weren't bad enough. Watch. Finally, I must confess, I've had sex with your best friend, Tommy, over 50 times. You need to not this. lie to her. Oh my God. You need to not lie Baby, to her, I am Robert. So sorry. Ow, don't touch me. You tell my producers oh my that God. that a medical condition oh. has led you to cheat. Oh. I'm a sex addict. Oh, 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 I see. You all no, sit I'm down. Not sit down, I'm everybody. Not, get the okay. away. No, I'm not. Get Robert, with I'm not. her best friend. I'm not. I'm not. Find out who's lying about what. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. When these tests come oh, out, you owe me apologies. I listen to you everybody. owe me apologies. Oh, they told me not to mess with you. Why? Oh, my God. Oh, okay. girl, because they mad. Here are Tanya's results of her lie detector test. Hurry up. We asked there. you, Tanya, the night you showed yourself. up at Rebecca's house at 2 a.m. with a bag of lingerie when you thought Rebecca was out of town, was it because you intended to have sex with Robert, you said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, and you believe We that? asked you during Robert's relationship with Rebecca, have no. you ever had sex with Robert? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie over 50 times.
Their unbelievable drama continues backstage. Will her best friend admit to the affair? Will Rebecca forgive her fiance? I want to spend the rest of my life with you. All of the incredible answers are coming up. This couple works together at a pancake restaurant. Tammy's the waitress, Brandon's the cook. But she fears he's giving customers free pancakes in exchange for sex. Free breakfast for booty. Could her suspicions possibly be true? The lie detector determined. <laughs> The lie detector results are unforgettable, and they're next. Everyone, this is Tammy. Welcome, Tammy, to the show. <laughs> Tammy is 47 years old, and she works alongside her 34-year-old boyfriend, Brandon. Boo! And they work at a local pancake restaurant. And Tammy's the waitress, Brandon's the cook. Now, it's not like, you know, they've been together for six months. They've been together 10 years. But Tammy suspects that Brandon is serving up way more than just pancakes to both his staff and his customers, and is worried that Brandon is offering free breakfast for booty. Watch this. I've devoted 10 years of my life to this man, Brandon. I've done everything for him, and I've been there for him, and he's stabbing me in the back and making me look like a dumb fool. I think Brandon's been hooking up with four or five different co-workers at the Pancake House. I think Brandon's having sex in the bathroom at work, on the Pancake Riddle, out back, and anywhere else at work he can get away with it. And I am freaking sick of it. I don't want him to be perfect, but I don't want him to lie and cheat on me. I catch him in lies, and then he comes back on me screaming and yelling at me because I catch him doing something wrong. That's not right. On the way here, he jokes about, it. if I get an 80 or above, that's passing, right? No, you're getting 100 because I would get 100 if Brandon fails his test, but cheat on somebody else because he ain't going to be on me no more. I understand when somebody thinks somebody's cheating who they love. But isn't it kind of awkward if you work in the same place? It's humiliating. It's horrible. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to go home. Where can I get away from it? I can't. I freaking can't. I can't take it. I've lost 36 pounds in three months. I can't eat. I can't sleep. I would never, ever, ever hurt him the way he turned me. It's beyond humiliation. And you think he's doing this on the clock? I know he is. There ain't no thinking he's going to fail that test as sure as I'm sitting my ass in this chair. I know he is. I know it. I know it. You show up unexpectedly at work one day. Oh, there's this girl sitting in the back. So I... Somebody else was taking care of my walk by. She goes, well, Brandon told me to come in for breakfast. What is she going to get up for pancakes now? What? I want to know. But not with a co-worker. Yeah, right. You want me to... And let's see, there's... And there's... And then there's... I can keep going. And you see this? What's that? He That's bought a, a spatula. spatula two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Hitting him on the butt saying, take a <laughs> Let's see who the lion is, buddy. I want to know. Yeah, look, look at that. He knows he's going to fail. This is maybe so funny. But you've been funny. together 10 life. years. And you know what? He's losing something good. I'm not a whore. I'm not a slut. I work my life. All right, this is what. And you know what, though? My favorite saying, he's always going to cheat, but it ain't going to be on me no more. Here's Brandon, everybody. Welcome, Brandon, to the show. Hi, Brandon. You love this one. I love her. She's devoted. She's devoted to you. Yes, I'm devoted to her, too. We'll see. Let's okay. get to the test. Let's get you, to the test. Uh... Let's get to the test. I want to know if I'm crazy. Do you use this pan do you use spatula for more than flipping pancakes? No, sir. Oh, oh, did you buy your own spatula for work? Yes. Oh, to take it home and... Yeah. She thinks see how ridiculous she, thinks, she is. Yeah, I know oh, she's going. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get to the test and see how ridiculous I am. Okay. 
Get to him, boy. Get to him. You mess with all these coworkers. No, I mess with none of my coworkers. She's the only coworker that I mess with. You don't give free food for a sex. No, not at all. What about the girl? She's just gotten off her rocker. She is. Yeah. Paranoid. So. Absolutely well, paranoid. Absolutely. Get to the test. Right now. Me, we asked you, Brandon, during your relationship with Tammy, have you ever given out free food in exchange for sex? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. We asked you, did the numbers Tammy found in your phone belong to women that you're having sex with behind her back? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. We asked you, we asked you, Brandon, during your relationship with Tammy, have you ever had sex with one of your co-workers from the pancake restaurant? You said no, the lie detector determined that was a lie. No, not even! I've never had sex with anybody, I'm telling you! I've never had sex with any of my co-workers! Worthy, worthwhile! We, we asked you, we asked you if you'd rather be in a relationship with somebody younger than Tammy. You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, come on! Ralph. You know what part of the problem is here? is he admitted to you at one time that he kissed a co-worker, okay? But There's he a difference between kissing no, and no, having no, no, sex. No, 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 he had sex with her. <laughs> that I did But I did that eat the condom. That don't matter if I asked you to stay I know, swear. because I did not want her liar. to stay, but we were not together, oh, Tammy. When you that put your f***ing thing down with her, you liar. Don't you ever say another word to me. We are done. <laughs> How can you hold something against me? We're Brandon! We weren't even together when this happened. Well, we're not together now. Whatever. Okay. Linda swears she saw video of her fiance having sex. He swears the man in the video wasn't him. He said it's not me! Until today. I admit to the video. Linda. And if that's what he's admitting to, you can't imagine what he's been hiding. The lie detector determined. The lie detector results are unforgettable, and they're next. Everyone, this is Linda. Welcome, Linda, to the show. Now, we mentioned the fact that Linda's 45 years old, and she's madly in love with her fiancé, Ramondo, who is 30, older, younger. And she's scared to death because she suspects Ramondo is not only cheating on her, but using her for her money. You see, Linda, Linda is no stranger to heartache because three years ago her fiancé tragically passed away. So, so meeting Ramondo was like a second chance at happiness. But recently, Linda found a video of Ramondo receiving oral sex from another woman. She also thinks Ramondo is participating in orgies with random females. Are you sure it was Ramondo on that video? I'm 100% sure it was Ramondo. I know Ramondo when I see him. He said it wasn't him? Yeah, he denied it. He said, it's not me. And, he, and I saw, I know, I saw. It wasn't him. I saw. I know what looks like. <laughs> people who think that he's just using you? Yes, I know it, and I've heard it too, and a lot of people told me that as well. Do you buy him everything? Yeah, I used to buy him clothes. I bought him everything. I brought him from rags to riches. He never had anything, Lori. I bought him these clothes. 
shirts, slacks, oh. shoes, designer shoes. I bought it all of this. Designer drawers, all of this. I bought him all of this, okay? okay? What's going on here if you find out that he's been cheating on you? Mari, it's over. It yeah. is. Ramondo says there's an explanation for everything. This is what he told my producers. I love all the women, and for me, Linda was a perfect catch. She's sweet, kind, lovable, and down to earth. Linda buys me things because she loves me. I don't ask for them, she buys them for me. So if she's gonna buy them, I'm gonna take them. I admit that I receive sexy photos from other females. Doesn't mean that I'm cheating. Hey, you can't have sex with a photo. Linda is a jealous woman. She gotta understand, I do have female friends. Doesn't mean I gotta be sleeping with these women. She just has to understand that. And all this has to stop. We need to get past this and put the past behind us. Only person I want is you. Everyone, here's Ramondo. Welcome, Ramondo. So, Ramondo, I get this. Okay, you can't help it if girls send you pictures on your phone. But what about the video? I admit to the videos, and that was me on the videos. And I was you want to be with Linda? Yes, I want to be with Linda. I love this woman. She's You're not nice. using her, are you? No, I'm not, Murray. I love I this woman, and I want to be with her. You are telling a lie. You are a big liar. What happened when she kicked in the air conditioner because you had two girls in the house? Those were just friends, Mara. Just oh, friends. Just oh. friends over there. And they came over there. And she came over took my air conditioner out. That's not true, Mara. Can she let me, that's can not I, can I talk more? Yeah, can she let me talk? Let him talk. Can, let can him I talk? talk? Sure. She came over there, pulled my air conditioner out, but we wouldn't there thing, Mara. Right. These just friends, they laughing at the whole situation. Mara, he loved me. He wouldn't have these girls in his house. <laughs> So we're going to find out what's the deal. We asked you during your relationship with Linda, have you ever had sex with a woman in the building where Linda used to work? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. We asked you, have you ever had sex with either of the women that Linda saw sitting on your sofa in your house the day she pulled the air conditioning unit from the window. You said no, the lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> we asked you during your relationship with Linda, have you ever had an orgy with, an, uh, with other women? You admitted to our lie detector administrator, you have. <laughs> Linda. Linda. Linda, we have the most important question. We asked Ramondo, are you using Linda for clothes, cash, and cars? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> we asked you. Linda. Are you prepared to separate? Yes, I'm prepared. I want both of you to meet with my counselor before we go home. Okay. Why are you doing this to me? Huh? Why are you cheating on me? I don't want to take it from you, and I, I can't. You. I no, you don't want me. I don't want you anymore. No, it's over. It is over. Your pants are all right. I'm sorry, all right? There's no going back. I can't go backwards. Listen, it's over. Look, okay. It's over. It's, you don't love me. A birthday cheated on me. To yeah. never love me. Yeah. Never. She called off her wedding for one reason. She found condom wrappers under the bed. We don't even use condoms. They've been together since their teens, but will this love story end today with one lie detector test? The lie detector determined. Oh my God! <laughs> The lie detector results are unforgettable, and they're next. Everyone, this is Rachel. Welcome, Rachel, to the show. Now, recently, 
Rachel had to break off her engagement to this man, Carrie. And, and, it, and it wasn't because she had cold feet or she needed more time. She called it off because she found condom wrappers under the bed. We don't even use condoms. We don't even use condoms. And she even heard that Carrie was holding hands with another woman in the grocery store. My best friend. My best friend told me that. My be Why would she lie about that? My best friend. And recently, on top of all that, Rachel suffered a miscarriage. This is her story. Ever since I was 13 years old, since I laid my eyes on Carrie, I have always loved him. When Carrie cheated on me for the first time two years ago, it devastated me. And now that I think he's doing it again, it just shattered my heart. I don't know what to do. Losing Carrie's baby was the hardest day of my life. I feel he has resentment against me. When I heard him holding hands with another girl in the grocery store, I was disgusted. There are certain nights when Carrie won't come home till four or five or six in the morning and it drives me crazy. If I discover Carrie's cheated on me, I'll probably never be with him ever again. And that breaks my heart. He's your one true love. He is. And he comes home smelling like perfume at four or five in the morning in the, the bars. In Indiana, the bars close at three. Did he ever admit that he no. cheated on you? No. Never? Oh, yes, he did. Two years ago, he cheated on me. And he admitted it? Yes. So here it is. You, you suffered a miscarriage. That must have been terribly painful to you. That was the terrible thing I've ever been through in my whole life. Okay. But you don't want to have a child with him if he's cheating? No, I do not. Are you going to break up with him? Probably. We've been together for six years. So what did your friend tell you about the grocery store? She walked into Marsh and saw him holding hands with a blonde girl, and they were flirting and everything else. Why would she lie about that? He denies it. He denies, denies, denies. Did he say he was in there with her or no, not? No, he denied it. He's like, your best friend's lying. I'm like, OK. Why would she lie about that? By the time I leave the house, I'm cheating on you. Did he his boxer shorts? Yes. And they had blood stain on the Okay, we're gonna find out because Carrie had this to say, watch. I love Rachel more than I ever thought I could love another person. At first it was puppy love, but after six years, I know that she's the person I wanna spend the rest of my life with. I made a mistake by cheating on Rachel two years ago, but I told her the truth about it and I haven't cheated on her since. I'm still being accused. Rachel needs to trust me. I'm a grown man who can make the right decisions. If I wanna stay out late with my friends, I should be able to, no questions asked. My ex is a major issue in my relationship, but she's my ex, she's my past. Rachel is my present. Rachel, I love you. You're beautiful inside and out, but this trust issue has got to end. Wow, here he is, Carrie. Carrie, come on out. She means the world to you. She means everything to me. In you other know words, how insecure you make me feel when I look at myself in the mirror. But why? Because we go to the grocery store and you can't help but check out someone's like five times. It's okay. Like, Every time I turn my head, I'm cheating on you. Whatever. If I walk out the door, if I talk to somebody on the phone, if I look at somebody, I'm cheating on you. Well, well here's the problem, Carrie. You did it before. I have. And I told her the truth. <laughs> I did it. But what you're saying in the last two years, after that incident, he's done nothing. He's done. No you've done nothing. Done nothing. And yeah. because of that, you should be able to go out all night long with your buddy. Four or I, five. I, I, I he see. He takes showers when he comes go. home. He takes showers when he comes home. That's the first thing he does. If I'm gonna go out with my friends, I shouldn't have to be home at a certain time. I'm, okay. I'm what about the home. condom wrappers? I have no idea. When she found condom wrappers. I asked where they were. They yeah, were right. never there. Yeah, they weren't right. there. They're she yours. never, she They're never showed them to me. They weren't how about, there. How about holding hands with a blonde in the grocery store? I don't My know. best friend would not lie to me. She's lying. She would not lie about She's that. Lying. Why would she lie? You're lying. She's my too. I don't know why she would say that. Well, guess know. what? We're gonna find out right now. <laughs> if he passes this test, is the engagement back on? If he passes it completely, like all answers, yes. We asked when Rachel found condoms in your room, was it because you were having sex with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined. Will this love story end today with one lie detector test? The lie detector determined. Oh my God! <laughs>
Rebecca's fiance claimed he had sex with her best friend over 50 times. Are you serious? Will her best friend admit to the affair? Will Rebecca forgive her fiance? I want to spend the rest of my life with you. All of the incredible answers are coming up. The lie detector results are unforgettable, and they're next. Ever since I was 13 years old, since I laid my eyes on Carrie, I have always loved him. When I heard him holding hands with another girl in the grocery store, I was disgusted. There are certain nights when Carrie won't come home till 4 or 5 or 6 in the morning, and it drives me crazy. If I discover Carrie's cheated on me, I'll probably never be with him ever again. By the time I leave the house, I'm cheating on you. his boxer shorts? Yes, and they have blood stained on the boxer. I love Rachel more than I ever thought I could love another person. Rachel, I love you. You're beautiful inside and out. But this trust issue has got to end. In other you know words, how insecure you make me feel when I look at myself in the mirror. You've done nothing. Done nothing. We're gonna find out, right? Now. We are you still attracted to Rachel? You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. We asked when Rachel found condoms in your room, was it because you were having sex with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. We asked you during your relationship with Rachel, have you ever had sex with a woman Rachel's friend saw you with in the grocery store? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie more than five times. More than five times? More than five times? Oh, my God. I was we, never in March. We yeah. asked you when you come home early in the morning, is it because you're having sex with other women behind Rachel's back? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, my God. We asked you hell? when you come home smelling like women's perfume, is it because you're having I sex with out. other women oh, behind Rachel's back? Don't pass out. Oh, no. You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, we asked you, do you want to marry Rachel? We asked you, do you want to marry Rachel? You said yes. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's the most important person I've ever met. I didn't do it. You didn't do you, it? I haven't. You mean the world to me. I've been with you for six years. You were 13 you, years you know old. What? I'm so young. You every I'm day so young and beautiful. You I can have anybody I want it. And I have I you. I got you. I want you. I chose you. No, no, I chose you. I want you both to meet with my counselor before you go home, okay? We'll be back right after this. Thank you. I did not <laughs> cheat on you. I did not cheat on you. I had sex with <laughs> Okay, I thought we did. <laughs> Only when we were broke up. Why would you do I this to me? You. <laughs> Scott has returned from a tour of duty in Iraq. But while he was fighting for his country, his wife found comfort in the arms of another man. Now we don't know if Logan is my son. Everyone is praying for the right result. Is Scott the father? Scotty. The lie detector results are unforgettable, and they're next. The man sitting next to me is among hundreds of thousands of people in this country, true heroes. Two years ago, Scotty went to Iraq to fight for our country. So, so then, he comes home, he faces an entirely different kind of war. You see, Scotty's wife, Brittany, had sex with another man while he was away. It left him heartbroken. He was unsure if he's the father of Brittany's one-year-old son, Logan. What? When me and Brittany first got together, we were high school sweethearts. We ended up getting married. Her and my two kids mean the world to me. When I left to go to Iraq, she left me and she was living with another man while I went to serve our country. When I found out that Brittany might have been pregnant by another man, it completely tore my world apart. Now we don't know if Logan is my son. Me and my wife, Brittany, already have a beautiful daughter named Mariah. And if Logan was my son, it would just complete my world. Do you know that your wife refused to take a lie detector test? Um, yeah. I 
I'm you, fine. you can get over that. Yes, I can. That doesn't matter to you. No, it doesn't. What matters to you? Just to prove this? Yes. That's the only thing. Yes, that's what I can. You think Logan looks like you? Um, a little, a little bit. If this is shown that you're not the father, what's going to happen? It's going to break my heart. It is. He means the world to me. Are you going to break up? No. You're no, not? I'm not? No, I'm going to break up. Well, let's meet your wife, Brittany. Here's Brittany. Brittany, come on out. Hi, Brittany. How are you? Brittany, you love him? Yeah. What, so there were problems in the, is, is that what it was? It was, there were problems? That's why you all broke up? And there was an understanding that you all would see each other, uh, see other people? Yeah. What are you upset about? And just everything. We've been through so much. And I hope he's... He's a good dad, isn't he? What you want is for Scott to be the father of yeah. Logan, and that you all can continue as a family. Yeah. And he says it doesn't matter one way or another, he will still be there for you and his family. I only have one other question before we read the result. Why did you refuse to take a lie detector test? Because we're worried about now. This is now. It's not about, you know, the past, I could say things like that, but it's not about that. We should be worried about us and those kids. That's it. I can buy that. Let's find out the results, okay? We're gonna find out the results. Right now. When it comes to one-year-old Logan, Scotty, you are not. Scotty, I want to tell you something. It doesn't mean you can be as good a father to that little boy as you are to your daughter. I have children in my house who are mine. I have one child who is not mine. Nobody, he's not treated any differently. And I know you're a good man, and I know you want to be a father to that son. I'm sorry. Okay? You want to stay together? Yeah. We'll be back right after this. Rebecca's fiance claimed he had sex with her best friend over 50 times. Are you serious? Will her best friend admit to the affair? Will Rebecca forgive her fiance? I want to spend the rest of my life with you. All of the incredible answers are next. The lie detector results are unforgettable, and they're next. Earlier, Rebecca came to the show because she believed her fiancé, Robert, was having a secret affair with her best friend, Tanya. This is your best friend. Oh, she's a trap. She's known for it. She's known for it. Tanya denied ever sleeping with Robert. This girl is crazy. But Robert decided to confess everything and reveal the truth on videotape. I've had sex with your best friend, Tanya, over 50 times. <laughs> Tanya was still claiming she never slept with Robert. No, no. But backstage with executive producer Paul Fallhaber. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Would Tanya come clean to her best friend? Now is the time to be honest to your friend. To help. Rebecca, we've been cheating. We've been cheating. Please forgive me. What the What this? You did this to me for her? Yes, I did. Move. I apologize. Oh, my God. This is, now you know. You're a tramp. I am a tramp. You, you know that. You know me for 15 years. Right. Stop playing. Yeah, at least want to apologize. I'll do it. Just stay here. I don't want to hear it. No, listen. No. Sir. Listen, listen. I don't forgive nothing. Yes, you will. Move. Where's my Where's my ring? I love you anyway. Robert made one last attempt to save this relationship with his fiance. I really do apologize from the bottom of my heart. 
I love you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. She's been sleeping with my best friend. Yes. Well, thanks for letting me know. I'm willing to work this out, boo. It happened. It's out there now. And I'm done. And I'm done now. When we get home, pack your stuff and get out of my house. We wish Rebecca the best of luck as she moves on from this painful situation. Keep watching upcoming shows as we definitely update you on this story. Until next time, America. Right now, on a shocking morning, this man is about to find out that his friend could be the father of his child. And this woman and her two sons were abandoned by this man. My son says, Daddy, he won't look. He keeps walking, goes in the house, and don't come back out. And in a special Mari segment, Kenyana admits she was a teen prostitute. Selling her body. She changed her life and now has this little girl. Look at her. But Gideon and his sister Are you here? Are you here? believe she still sells her body. She's still doing it. And that she's trapping Gideon with another man's child. The DNA results are in. When it comes to four-month-old Janaya, Gideon. Will this former prostitute find her baby's father today or not? The envelopes are about to be opened. And the truth will be unleashed. <laughs> today on a Mario Origin. This is Kenyana. Welcome, Kenyana, to the show. Now, she is a true survivor. She grew up in and out of foster care. She did everything and anything to survive. And that included selling her body. But it all changed when she had a two-year relationship with this man, Gideon. They... They even had a child together named Janaya. Look at her. Now, Kenyana says her past is haunting her because Gideon has been brainwashed by his sister, Gentry. <laughs> brainwashed into believing that he is not Janaya's father. Watch. I've been through so much in my life but I am a survivor. As a teen, I had to sell my body just to get money to eat. I'm not proud of what I used to do, but I'm a different person now. I never hear my past from Gideon, and now him and Gentry is trying to use this against my baby. Gentry ruined my relationship with Gideon, and now she's ruined his relationship with his daughter. I think Gentry's doing this because she's in love with her brother and not the way you think she is. I heard from members in their own family that they're having sex. Whatever sick things happen between them two is really not my problem. But I will not let this affect my daughter from having a father in her life. Kenyon, you and Gideon broke up two months ago. Yes, sir. And it's because of her? Yes, sir. Why is that? Why is she so much a part of this problem? It's just been, ever since we got together, it's been hatred there. I don't know why. And then, like, I've been thinking they were sleeping together. Really? Ben, I've been thinking they were sleeping together. You Brother, sick, sister. You got the sick. same mother and Girl, go ahead and do your thing Girl, on the street. Girl, you know that's his baby, though. You Quit so playing. Sick. You know you that's sick. his baby. They look alike. Mari, look at this. Look at my baby head. Look at that Look at that nose. Look at my baby nose. Look at those legs. Everything. She's a spitting image of that man. She don't look nothing like me. Nothing. She don't look nothing like me. That's his twin. He is not mine. 
Now, here's the thing. Here's the problem. It's your past, Kenyana, that you were still messing around with other people after you were with him. Mark, I told Gideon from the get-go when we got together. He knew my whole background, everything. So she goes on Facebook and gets a scooping like it's just a new thing. He knew I was a prostitute. I'm not ashamed because I made it. You all used to be a great couple. A great one, Mark. I was so in love with this man. Still today, I'm in love with him. But the things he's doing to my daughter ain't right. It's not right, and I'm not going to stand for it no Wait more. Wait a second. Yeah. Does he see your daughter? No, Mark. No. He won't see your daughter? No. So you've turned it around. Yes, sir. And they haven't. And they haven't. No, she got a three month old, and you here trying to figure out who my baby daddy is. Don't talk about my baby. Don't talk about my baby. Don't talk about my baby. My baby ain't got nothing to do with this. My baby ain't got nothing to do with this. So you know we gave Gideon a DNA test. Yes, sir, I do. Okay. We're going to have the results later. But this is what he had to say. Man, I knew Kiana had a bad past and was selling her body on the streets, but I thought that all ended when we got together. But I was clearly sadly mistaken. My sister Jitsu already said from the start that the baby wasn't mine, but now I believe it. When that baby came out, I knew my sister was right. She was always acting all suspicious and sneaky through our whole entire relationship. Every time I'd be gone for work, Jitsu would always say she seen Kiana getting in and out of court. I think Kiana was still hooking, so who knows who baby it is. I know my sister got my back, so I trust her when she said I'm not Janiah's father. Kiana's gonna feel real stupid when Mario reads these results. Everyone, welcome Gideon to the show. That baby look like you? I don't know. You, you don't tell know. me. What you can tell me it can be any. It can be any one of y'all, baby. That's your 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 baby. She's yours. Listen, something must have happened because yeah. you all were together, and yeah. then you started to believe your sister. Yeah. What happened? She she tell me, uh, this is my baby and stuff like this. Look, she get into a different relationship with somebody else. Why, why sign her birth look, certificate? It don't matter. Why which, put her in, why put her in your I name? Two, what you you didn't have two. She could have been in my last matter. name. Look, you didn't have two. You didn't have two. No, like I said, no. This is the whole thing. Look, when I, you know what she thinks? Say what? She thinks she thinks you and your sister are sleeping I, together. Man, I, come on, on, man. I don't even mess my sister. What the hell she look like? I don't look like a clown. That's that's spicy, man. I don't do no stuff like that. So in other words, I don't even mess with my sister feel, like that. You feel Kenyana has used you? Yeah. We gonna see you. Wait a second. Don't say it's my baby. If this is your baby, you'll get in this baby. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna always, I'm gonna do what I gotta he do to take care of the baby. Lord, he mean, just said on the phone to me the other day, I, mean, I, mean, I know drive, that's my daughter. Drive. You just told, he drive. told everybody what else that came to the show. I do everything I gotta do. Daughter. I want to bring out another central person to this whole yeah. story, and that is your sister. She won't tell the truth. She won't tell the truth. First of all, Gentry, <laughs> that's a bad accusation she made. She's so sick. She just brought this Girl, up before. Girl, that's why you're you 12 just year old and you're just three months. That's why you're three months a couple years ago. You talking about my baby? My baby ain't Gentry, got nothing to do with Gentry, this, honey. Gentry, So Gentry. why you here? You got a three month old. Why are you here? This is his Why are you here? 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 Why are you here?
Gentry, Gentry. Did you convince your brother he wasn't the father of this child? No, I did not. I didn't convince him he was not Lord. the father. I'm telling you this right now. This girl been a hoe. She been doing this since she was young, and she's still doing it. You don't believe nope, she's. I ain't never you don't been believe one. she's turned the page. I'm no. I ain't did nothing since I had that little girl. I ain't did nothing since I had that baby. She's right And I'm not ashamed to say I'm ashamed. I told you, and I'm a stronger <laughs> woman today. You see me? It made me a better woman. You see me? You. Okay. Okay. Gentry, yeah, you know, we gave we you a lie right. detector test about your ac the accusations about you and She's your brother. Sick. Now your family Go sick. Ahead. Ask them who told me. We asked you. Nasty. We asked you, Gentry. Now listen, Kenyana, listen. We asked you, Gentry, have you had any type of sexual contact with your brother Gideon? You said no. The lie detector determined. The incredible DNA results are coming up. Will this former prostitute find her baby's father today or not? Antoine knows his fiance cheated. This is some situation to be in, Kira. And that another man could be the real father of three-year-old Antoine Jr. I made a mistake, more. But what he doesn't know is that the other possible father is here is his longtime friend, Regis. <laughs> Who's the father of Antoine Jr.? The envelopes are about to be opened, and the truth will be unleashed. Everyone, this is Kira. Welcome Kira to the show. Now. You know, in just a few months, Kira was prepared to marry her first love, Antoine. But this is what happens, you know? You start drinking at night, bad things come out. Kira was drinking and revealed to Antoine he might not be the father of their three-year-old son, Antoine. <laughs> Meanwhile, the other man who Kira slept with is here, too. His name is Regis. By the way, Antoine Regis, friends. Here's the twist. Antoine has no idea Regis is the other guy in question. Two close friends. Yes. This is some situation to be in, Kira. Yes. What happened? I made a mistake, more. How long have you and Antoine been together? Since high school, six years. Six years? Yes. That was my high school sweetheart. I love him. How long have you and Regis been messing around? Six years. Oh. Uh, I know, I know we are human. We are human. And how would you describe your relationship with Antoine now? We're engaged. You think you're going to stay engaged after this comes out? I, I hope so. I love him. Hopefully he loves so me what, enough to... Who do you think is the father of your child? Antoine. Hope he is. He's supposed to be getting married. You think they look alike? Yes. Look at the eyes, Maury. Look at the nose, the forehead, the eyebrows. Look at it. He looks just like Antoine. Not him. No. Don't look nothing like him. Nothing. You know your friend Regis? He's mad at you. For what? You have kept him a part of what might be his child. But that's not his child. That's Antoine's child. Now, everybody has to understand, Antoine's backstage, but he's so far backstage, he can't hear anything. So... Why don't we hear from Regis? Regis, let's see what he has to say. Thank you. Regis, 
This has been ongoing. Yes. And you have still been a friend of Antoine's. Yes. How does that work? I don't think this could work in my life. How does it work in your life? I don't know if, it, if the baby's mom. I couldn't it. sleep yeah. with my best friend's woman. Like, you pursue like, me. It's like you two pursue tank, me. Right? So in other words, you pursue me. Sex just takes over. Is yeah. that it? You can say that. Clouds your mind. You can say that. You know, I said to her that you're a little upset with her. I am. He, he, Why? He, Cause what if the baby's mine? And she's it got, ain't. What if the baby's mine? It ain't. And she got this. She, she got this baby a junior. What if the baby's mine and the baby's a junior? It ain't. So. So that means if he is the father. He's been away from his child for three years. Three. And I feel bad. If he is the father, then I, I feel bad for But you don't think he is? No. So this is what? Do you want to be the father, by the way? I don't know. But if the baby... If, 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 now, wait a minute. If the baby... Wait a minute. If I, if I, I want to tell you something. If, if, I, if it was my... If it's my friend's baby... I would not want to be the father, right? You don't want to be right, the father. Right, you right. You right. It would be better. The whole thing to play out in the future would be better if you're not the father. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. But I'm saying, like, all right. if I'm the baby father, I'm going to take care of the baby. That's so all I'm saying. This is what's going to happen. We're going to bring you backstage, but I want you to see, first of all, before I take you backstage, mm -hmm. what all of this has been doing to your friend. Watch. A month ago, my fiance told me my three-year-old son, Antoine Jr., may not be mine. It hurt me inside. It crushed me. Now, every time I look at his face, I think he belongs to someone else. It makes me sick to my stomach to think that my son may not be mine. I feel like I've been taken advantage of, so I called out the wedding between me and Kira. I know Kira gave another man a DNA test, but she refuses to tell me who it is. She tell me I know this person, and it better not be a friend or family member because I can't take this anymore. I called the Maury Show because my heart is in pieces. I love this little boy. He is my life. Everybody, please welcome Antoine to the show. How shocked were you when you found out that your son might not be yours? I was devastated. I cried. I was real mad. Man, I had bagged off a lot, and I had left. Because you were there the whole time. Yes, you were sir. there when he was born. Yes, sir. I was there the whole time. And then I asked her, I asked her, when he was in the hospital, I asked her, is that my son? She told me, yeah. I had second thoughts about it. I left. Three months later, I came back. And I asked again. She told me, yeah, I started taking care of him. You think he looks like you now? Yes. She really believes it's your baby. I want it uh, to be his baby. I love him. We're supposed to get married. I want it to be his. You know that we tested another guy? Yeah, I know. She told me. She told me I might know who I know the person is, but she would never tell me his name. Is that right? Guess what, Antoine? The other guy, he's here. So why don't we have him come out? This is a shock. This is a shock? Yeah. Been knowing him all my life, Morris, since we've been young, man. We grew up together. You want to say anything to him, Regis? <laughs> Tell him whether you're sorry? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Antoine, man. It, it wasn't all me. It was her 
one, two. You can't take it out, both of y'all, man. Yeah. What's you talking about? I've been knowing you my whole life, Angela. man. I want you to listen up here for a second. You got to tell him how long this has been going on. I love you. You know I love you, right? What's your, how long has it been happening? Six years. Six years? Six years? If he's the father, are you all still together? No, it's over. No, don't say that. Don't say that. So, we can, don't say that. We can work through this, don't if say If you're it. the father, you all gonna stay together? Yeah, our engagement will be back on. It will be. Well, we're gonna find out right now. When it comes to three-year-old Antoine Jr., Regis, you are not the father. Yes! When it comes to three-year-old Antoine Jr., Antoine, you are the father. You stop seeing him. I, it's, uh, it's done. It's over. It's done. Buster claims Crystal's just a club rat. Crystal drank so much at the clubs. He won't acknowledge these two little boys. <laughs> Even though he lives right next door to them. The only thing separating you all is a fence. A little bitty fence. Two children and two unforgettable results. This is Crystal. Welcome, Crystal, to the show. Now, three months ago, Crystal got the shock of her life when her then-boyfriend, Buster, broke up with her, kicked her and her two sons, James and Joey, out of the house. Now, to add insult to injury, Buster then started to deny that he was the father of both of her children. Now, you gotta, you gotta listen to the reasons why Buster is denying Crystal's two boys. When I met Crystal, I knew she liked to party. She parties all the time. She ain't nothing but a club rat. Crystal would drink so much at the clubs, she wouldn't even know where she was going. She'd be blacking out. Who's to say she wasn't sleeping with other men while dating me? Crystal moved next door to me. She thinks that gives her the right to bother me whenever she wants to. I always see Crystal looking at me through the window with her stalking ass, and I'm tired of it. Even Crystal's own family member has told me she's been cheating on me throughout our relationship. Any man in my position would demand a DNA test for these kids. A woman like Crystal has no morals and cannot be trusted. Okay. It took two, not one. You played. You played in the playground. You played in the playground. You played on the playground. Now take responsibility. He, ha he has a name for you. You know that? Club rat. Club rat. Yep. I'm a club rat, but I'm the one that's sitting at home taking care of his kids every night. I'm the one that takes them to their doctors. I'm the one that feeds them. I'm the one that buys their diapers. I buy their clothes. Or either my sister does. Buster don't. Now with the but old... won't even say hey to him when he comes to the fence and he comes home from work. He ignores him and keeps on walking. Oh, yeah, that's won't right. Won't even look at him. Won't even look at the son. By the way, for real? he throws you out of the house with your kids. You move away. Then you move back, move in with your sister, which, by the way, Stays right is right next to his house. And the only thing separating you all is a fence. A, fe a little bit of fence. And my son, every day when he comes home from work, is in the backyard, and he won't even look over there and say, hey. Even if my son says, daddy, he won't look. He keeps walking, goes in the house, and don't come back out. Won't come back out. I can text him and say, James is sitting here hollering, daddy, and he won't even respond back. But, but, Crystal, if he beckons you, Later that night, of Oh, it's good. If he, as long as me and him's good, as long as he loves oh, me so that week, go... he loved the kids. The next week when he hate me, he hate the kids then, too. As 
as long as he loves me, as long as that, we, we good, we doing us, we staying the night, we sleeping together. We, he loves babies, he play with them, everything. But the next week, he hates me, he hates my kids, too. And denies them. Denies, denies them. But you're in love with him. I do, I love him with all my heart. But there's a part of me that don't know if I can forgive him for the stuff he's done for the past three months. But I do, I love that man with every ounce of my Why do you body. think he did this all of a sudden? Because people have been filling his head that you're out clubbing. Nah, that's just him thinking I'm at the club every night. Where are you? If, I, I mean, I do go to the club, but I'm not there. I, my kids are in bed. I feed my kids. My kids are asleep when I leave, and I don't go every night. They don't, they don't stay by themselves, do no, they? No, my sister keeps them. Their daddy keeps them, because my sister's their daddy. Buster's not around. No. Everybody, here's Buster. Buster, come on out. Buster, those are your kids. Uh, I don't know. For you real? don't know. For don't real, know. Buster. For real? For real? Don't know. For real? For real? Don't know. For real? Don't know. For real? Be a man. Be a man. Don't know. You're supposed to be a man, right? Don't know. You a man, right? Don't know. You a man? Man up. Buster. Buster. Man, man up. Buster. Man up. You said it. So wait a second, you Crystal. All right, right Crystal. I'm the one to take it. Crystal, I talked to. I Murray talked. Let me talk to you. Thank you, Murray. You call her the club rat. She a club rat, Murray. Did she ever, at any time, give you any inkling that you weren't the father? She was never home, Murray. Is that right? Really? Never really? home, Murray. Really? Really? Never home, Murray. Really? Look, I work hard, Murray. Really? I go work. You know what I'm really? saying? I wake up 6.30 in the morning every morning. Five, six days a week, she in the club. She don't come home at really? 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. Really? Kill my kids, I can do what I want to be. I'm being club, a woman. In the club. She I'm won't get a, a job woman. and help me take care of the That's why she got It's your responsibility. Yeah. It's your responsibility. Yeah. If these are the, if your kids, you're not going to ignore no, them across the back fence. I'm a good father, no, man. I got custody my. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm a good father, man. I just want to know. It, it, it ain't the kids. It's her. The same person it is. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to one-year-old James, Buster. Next, two children and two unforgettable results. Plus, he knew I was a pasta too. I made it out. The incredible DNA results are coming up. When it comes to four month old Janiah Gideon, will this former prostitute find her baby's father today or not? The envelopes are about to be opened, and the truth will be unleashed. But I met Crystal. I knew she liked the party. She parties all the time. She ain't nothing but a club rat. Who's to say she wasn't sleeping with other men while dating me? Any man in my position would demand a DNA test for these kids. You play, you play in the playground. My son, every day when he comes home from work, he's in the backyard and he won't even look over there and say, hey. Those are your kids. I don't know. Don't know. You don't know. Buster, you can't for it. 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 You can not When it comes to 
When it comes to three-month-old Joey, Buster, you are the father. No, Nope. Nope. Joey don't even know him. I'm just asking. Joey don't even know him. I'm saying she can't live. You just didn't know. You just didn't know. You just didn't know. And I'm not gonna. But now that you know, you will. No, no, no. Yeah, he still ain't gonna do nothing. Last time you saw him. I bet you I'm gonna call him back. But you talk to him. No, I don't. I think you love her. I do. No, no, no. But I think you are. I am in love with her. You are. I am. Now this is serious. I know. This is serious. Hold on. Can you come talk to me for a second? I want to talk to you. I've already said the words. You are the father twice. Okay. So those are your kids. He don't those care. Are your and he's going to be the same way when we get home. And he's going to continue yes, to be the same way. That is your dynasty. Yes, that is your legacy. Ain't nothing yes, All right? Yes, sir. Dale has six children. Did you know he had six kids? And a two-year-old grandbaby. The grandchild's older than the daughter. Yeah. Oh, boy. And does he also have a one-year-old baby with Christina? Welcome to the modern American family, everybody. <laughs> Plus, he knew I was a prostitute. I made it out. The incredible DNA results are coming up. When it comes to four-month-old Janiah Gideon, will this former prostitute find her baby's father today or not? This is Christina. Welcome, Christina, to the show. Well, you never know who you're going to meet at McDonald's. <laughs> so, Christina met a guy named Dale at McDonald's three years ago. It was an instant attraction. Must have had fries together or something. <laughs> anyway, moments later, she admits she slipped him her number. Three years later, she's ending up on this show with him. Their friendship turned romantic. Christina then found out she was pregnant with her one-year-old daughter, Dylan. But today, Dale, who, by the way, has six other kids, says he's not the father. Finding out I was pregnant with my daughter, Dylan, was the biggest shock of my life. I had multiple miscarriages, and my doctor told me I would not be able to have any kids. I was thrilled at being able to finally have a baby girl, but when I told Dale he denied being her father, Dale has six other kids out there. Dale is using this as a cop-out. I know damn good and well that this is his daughter, and so does he. I was terrified through my entire pregnancy that I was gonna lose my daughter, and Dale was nowhere to be found. As soon as I proved to Dale that he is Dylan's father, all I want is for him to hold his baby girl. Okay, the reason the reason why this is very emotional for Christina is the fact that she was told by her doctor she can't have any more kids. But then she gets pregnant. She's supposed to be happy. What happened to Dale? Was he happy? No, not at all. <laughs> the first thing out of his mouth was that he wanted a DNA test. Did you know he had six kids? I eventually knew that he did, but I didn't think it was a big deal because I thought I couldn't have any more. So, he wasn't there for your pregnancy? No, I saw him one time. Was he there? Was he at the hospital for the birth of the child? About two days after I gave birth to her, he came up to the hospital to see her. But to see her, he made me clear everybody else out of the hospital room. And I know that she is his because she looks like she popped right out of him. Really? Oh, my God. <laughs> Here comes Dale. Dale, let's bring you out. Hello. 
Dale, you don't consider yourself in a relationship with Christine. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, Never have been. She, she was. She was living with another guy at the time. Not when I got pregnant. I wasn't. Yes, I was. Were. I had just moved back from Marietta, and we, I was staying at the hotel. I got pregnant on Valentine's Day. Did you or did you not spend yeah, the night with me? Yeah, but you wasn't. I mean, you wasn't uh, back at the motel. You weren't back at the motel, but a couple days. I was you at the motel there? for three weeks. No. Yes, I, I know how Dale, long I paid that, for the hotel. That child looked like you. I don't think so. My, no, my family. My family don't think so. My friends don't think so. If yes, you're the father, Dale, you will help with this child. Yes, I will, Moore. Okay, we'll find out. When it comes to one-year-old Dylan, Dale, you are the father. Just take care of this child. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank okay. you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Come see her. Hey. So I get that one. Who is your daddy? Kenyana admits she was a teen prostitute. Selling her body. She changed her life and now has this little girl. Look at her. But Gideon. And his sister Why are you here? Why are you here? believes she still sells her body. She's still doing it. And that she's trapping Gideon with another man's child. The DNA results are in. When it comes to four month old Janiah, Gideon. Will this former prostitute find her baby's father today or not? The envelopes are about to be opened. And the truth will be unleashed. As a teen, I had to sell my body just to get money to eat. I never hid my past from Gideon, and now him and Gentry is trying to use this against my baby. I heard from members in their own family that they're having sex. But I will not let this affect my daughter from having a father in her life. My sister Gentry already said from the start that the baby wasn't mine, but now I believe it. You don't see that? You don't see her? You don't see her? Did you convince your brother he wasn't the father? This girl being a hoe. Is she still doing it? Yeah, you know. We gave we you a lie time. detector test about the accusations about you and She's your brother. Sick. Now your family Good. sick. Ask them who told me. We asked you. Nasty. We asked you, Gentry. Now listen, Kenyana, listen. We asked you, Gentry, have you had any type of sexual contact with your brother Gideon? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Ooh. Ooh. Sick ass. Listen, what you mean? I don't need to Give me over. my DNA test. That's what I care about. Give me that DNA Here we test. go. When it comes to four month old Janiah, Gideon. You are the father. watching everybody until next time America <laughs> <laughs>